Hello everybody, welcome back to Hardware Reset Info channel. Today I'll show you how to easily fix screen flickering on your Moto G56. So first go over to settings and now what you guys need to do is go over to the display. So scroll up, now here you will have the display and here you can adjust your brightness level so make sure it's not high up and it's not low because then you may experience the flickering so set it up to like metal it should be okay and make sure that the adaptive brightness here is disabled because it can also mess up your screen and it can flicker so after that what you guys can do is download an app from the google play so go here I'll simply just use the password so I'll see you guys once I do that and now here search for the screen dimmer now click on the screen dimmer OLED saver here click install and it's like two megabytes so it installs pretty fast as you guys can see now it's installing and now we can open the app what we need to do now is go here and grant permissions for everything. So let's grant it from here. Now with the accessibility, here we have the screen dimmer. Now here we click allow. And now grant permission for notifications. As you guys can see now here we can enable the screen dimmer. It looks good in the camera and it looks even darker for me in the reality. So I think that's a pretty good way of trying to fix your screen flickering problem. Now check the settings for eventual software updates. So scroll down. Now here go to system updates and here click check for updates. As you guys can see I'm running the latest version of the software and I recommend you guys doing the same because every single time a software gets updated it can fix a lot of glitches including the screen flickering. So make sure to update your software and if it's still not working and your screen is still flickering then go over here go to system. Now back up your data first so you don't lose any important files and your personal information. Now go to reset options and here click erase all data back to the reset. Click erase all data and click it again. Basically here you will have the phone being brought back to the default settings. So after that, if the issue is still here, then I recommend visiting the service center to get a more professional diagnosis made by a technician and not me. So that's it. Hope it helps you. And if you enjoyed this video, then leave a comment, subscribe, and a thumbs up. Bye.